top of the morning to ye on this gray, drizzly afternoon. Kent O. Brockman, live on Main Street, where today everyone is a little bit Irish, except, of course, for the gays and the Italians. All right, then, move along. Nothing to see here. Show's over, folks. Parades just bring out so many emotions in me. Joy, excitement, looking. Mom, can I go buy one of those long plastic horns? Oh, Bart, we've bought those before, and you always just throw them out the car window on the ride home. <sighs> I get bored with them. But that won't happen this time. Hmm. Beep, beep, coming through. Hey, Notre Dame, move it or lose it. Ruga. Will the owner of the great big butt please move it out of my face? TV. Hey, where's that weather check? Mm. This is some wicked party, eh? Hey, have you seen Sully? <laughs> Get away from there. Hey, I need a pencil. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing is a total disregard for the things St. Patrick's Day stands for. All this drinking, violence, destruction of property. Are these the things we think of when we think of the Irish? <laughs> Hey, what the... Oh. Everybody! Everybody get naked! Come on, don't be stuck up. It's going to be great. Well, why not? This party's just getting started! Stop the celebration! That small boy is drunk! <laughs> Look at me! I'm the Prime Minister of Ireland! <laughs> hey, home, ain't that your kid on TV? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? The innocent words of a drunken child. Well, I'll tell you what we're looking at, young man. A town gone mad. A town whose very conscience was washed away in a tide of beer and green vomit. I'm going down to Moe's for a couple beers. I'll come with you. <laughs> 